Imagine your garden thriving, vibrant with healthy plants only to find it suddenly struck by an unseen foe. This unseen enemy may cause leaves to curl, colors to fade, and it may seem as if all your hard work has been in vain. But what if there was a way to combat this invisible adversary, using the power of nature itself? The solution lies in eco-friendly methods. So buckle up because we're about to dive into the secrets of plant health. Welcome to Fight the Blight, where we unveil the secrets to protecting your garden through eco-friendly means. First, let's explore what's attacking our plants. Just like us, plants can fall prey to a variety of diseases, each with its own characteristic symptoms and modes of attack. In the world of botany, these diseases are often categorized into three main types, fungal, bacterial, and viral. Fungal diseases like powdery mildew and black spot are often the most visible. They manifest as strange, often powdery growths on leaves and stems, and can rapidly spread if left unchecked. These spores can travel through air, water, or even hitch a ride on insects. Next, we have bacterial diseases such as bacterial blight and fire blight. These diseases are sneakier, often causing wilting, leaf drop, or even sudden plant death. Bacteria can infiltrate our gardens through wind, rain, or even on the tools we use to prune and tend to our plants. Lastly, viral diseases like mosaic virus can cause a range of symptoms including stunted growth, yellowing, and distinct mosaic-like patterns on leaves. Viruses are typically spread via pests such as aphids, whiteflies, or nematodes. By recognizing these symptoms and understanding how these diseases proliferate, we can take the first steps in defending our gardens. The key is to be observant, vigilant, and ready to act. After all, knowledge is the best tool in any gardener's arsenal. Ensure your garden's defenses are always one step ahead. Meet the heroes of our story, the eco-friendly solutions. These green warriors are the heart of our fight against plant diseases, harnessing nature's power to protect and heal our gardens. Let's dive in. First up, we have neem oil. Extracted from the seeds of the neem tree, this natural pesticide is a true champion in our eco-friendly arsenal. It's a triple threat against pests, funguses, and bacteria, stopping the enemies of our plants in their tracks. But what's even more impressive is its selective nature. This means it keeps harmful pests at bay while leaving beneficial insects unharmed. So, your garden's pollinators like bees and butterflies can keep doing their vital work without interruption, making neem oil a true friend to the eco-conscious gardener. Next, let's talk about compost tea. Don't worry, it's not for you to drink. It's a nutrient-rich solution made from steeping compost in water. This tea is like a superfood smoothie for your plants boosting their immunity and helping them fight off diseases. It's teeming with beneficial microbes that enrich the soil and promote healthy plant growth. And the best part? You can make it right at home using your kitchen scraps and garden waste. Finally, we have companion planting. This is the art of strategically placing plants together to benefit each other. Some plants naturally repel pests that threaten their neighbors while others attract beneficial insects. For instance, marigolds are known to deter tomato pests, while garlic wards off rose pests. It's a beautiful example of nature's symbiosis at work in your garden. But remember, these solutions aren't just about battling diseases, they're also about creating a garden that's in harmony with nature, one that supports biodiversity and contributes to a healthier planet. After all, every garden is a mini-ecosystem, and by nurturing that, we're helping to support the larger ecosystem around us. Now you may be wondering, how effective are these methods? Well, countless gardeners around the world swear by them, but don't just take their word for it. Try them out for yourself and see the difference they can make in your garden. So whether you're dealing with powdery mildew, bacterial blight, or pesky pests, remember that nature has got your back. With these eco-friendly warriors by your side, you're well-equipped to fight the blight and keep your garden thriving. Witness the power of companion planting in action. It's not just about growing plants, it's about growing a healthier, more sustainable future. And in that fight, every single one of us can make a difference. Just by choosing to garden in an eco-friendly way, we're taking a stand for our planet. So, here's to the green warriors, both the methods we use and the gardeners who use them. Together, we're making the world a greener place, one garden at a time. Now, let's get our hands dirty. It's time to roll up our sleeves and get involved with the practical application of our eco-friendly solutions. These are not just theories, but proven methods that can help your garden thrive, even in the face of common plant diseases. Let's start with neem oil, a natural pesticide that's as kind to the environment as it is tough on pests. 
First you'll need to find a high-quality cold-pressed neem oil, which retains the maximum amount of beneficial compounds. Mix about 2 teaspoons of this oil with a quart of warm water and a few drops of dish soap to help the oil blend well with the water. Give it a good shake, and voila! You've got yourself a potent, natural pesticide. It's best to spray this mixture on your plants early in the morning or late in the evening to avoid burning the leaves in the hot sun. And remember, consistency is key. Regular applications every one to two weeks can keep those pesky invaders at bay. Next up, we've got compost tea. This nutrient-rich solution is like a health drink for your plants. To brew your own, you'll need some well-aged compost. Fill a bucket about one-third full with compost, then top it off with water. Stir it well, cover it, and let it steep for three to five days, stirring occasionally. After that, strain the liquid, dilute it with equal parts water, and it's ready to use. This tea is a great way to give a quick nutrient boost to your plants and improve their overall health and resistance to diseases. Then there's companion planting, a strategy as old as farming itself. By planting certain crops together, you can help deter pests and even enhance growth. For instance, try planting marigolds near your tomatoes. The marigolds emit a scent that repels tomato pests, offering a natural form of protection. And don't forget about garlic and roses, a classic pair. The strong scent of garlic wards off many common rose pests. But what good is all this without seeing the results, right? So, let's take a look at some time-lapse footage of these methods in action. Watch as a plant, once stricken with disease, begins to recover after regular treatments with our homemade neem oil spray. Notice the vibrant green leaves and the robust growth after a few servings of compost tea, and observe the pest-free environment around the plants protected by their companion crops. These aren't just temporary fixes, but sustainable solutions that work with nature, not against it. They show that you don't need harsh chemicals to have a healthy, thriving garden. Watch as we demonstrate the immediate effects these treatments have on diseased plants. And remember, this is just the beginning. With these eco-friendly solutions in your gardening toolkit, you're well on your way to winning the fight against the blight. Prevention is the cornerstone of plant health. Indeed, the old adage, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, rings true in the realm of gardening. It's not just about responding to disease outbreaks, but proactively creating an environment where diseases struggle to take root. So, where do we start? First, consider the layout of your garden. A well-planned garden layout can deter disease by promoting good air circulation reducing the chances for fungi and bacteria to thrive. Picture a garden where plants aren't crammed together, where each leafy inhabitant has room to breathe. It's a simple step, but one that can make a world of difference. Next, let's talk about crop rotation. This age-old farming practice isn't just for the large-scale farmers, it applies to backyard gardeners too. By changing what you plant in a particular spot each season, you can break the life cycle of disease-causing organisms, effectively outsmarting them before they can wreak havoc. Visualize a game of musical chairs, with each plant taking a new spot each season, keeping potential pests and diseases guessing and off-balance. Finally, we must address soil health. Healthy soil is the backbone of a healthy garden. It's a bustling, microscopic ecosystem that, when in balance, helps to suppress diseases. Think of it as the garden's immune system. By adding organic matter and ensuring a good balance of nutrients, we can create a soil environment where beneficial organisms thrive and help keep harmful ones in check. To sum up, prevention in gardening is a multi-pronged approach. By considering garden layout, practicing crop rotation and maintaining soil health, we can create a robust defense against plant diseases. And the best part, these measures are not only effective but also eco-friendly, contributing to the overall health of our environment. Discover the importance of crop rotation and soil health. The fight against plant diseases begins not with a spray bottle, but with a well-thought-out plan and a commitment to nurturing the environment in which our plants grow. Remember, in the garden, as in life, prevention is indeed better than cure. Armed with knowledge and nature's allies, you're now ready to fight the blight and foster a thriving eco-friendly garden. You've learned to recognize plant diseases, discovered nature's eco-warriors, and seen how to apply these solutions. You've also grasped the importance of prevention and garden design. So, go ahead, brew your compost tea, plant your marigolds and garlic, rotate your crops, and let your garden flourish. Remember, every plant saved is a victory for our planet. Together we can keep our gardens and our world flourishing. Hit like, subscribe, and share this video with fellow garden enthusiasts. We'd love to hear about your eco-friendly gardening experiences and successes in the comments below. Together, we can cultivate a greener world.
stay green, and see you in the next one.